so I was missing playing Pokemon on my Game Boy. Those endless hours battling, catching and training my team. And now that I build websites, I thought why not bring that nostalgia into my designs. So I created this a dynamic Pokemon themed card section where each card represents one of the original starters. Squirtle, Charmander and Bulbasaur. Hover over them and you will see animated borders matching their elements. Blue for water, red for fire and green for grass. But it doesn't stop there. Each card has its own interactive effect. Bubbles rising across Squirtle, fiery sparks surrounding Charmander and leaves falling across Bulbasaur. Let me show you exactly how I build this in Elementor using custom CSS and animations. Insert a full width container and set its direction to row so all three cards sit side by side. To give the section proper spacing, apply the padding values of 100 on the top, left and right and 50 on the bottom. This ensures that the layout has breathing room and looks clean. Now let's create the first card. Insert another full width container inside the main section and assign it the CSS class name card 1. This will allow us to target it individually for styling. Inside this container, add an image, set its width to 70%, apply a top padding of 10 and set the Z index to 2 so it remains above other elements. Below the image, insert a heading, center align it and set the color to black. Then insert a divider, set its width to 30%, align it to the center, change the color to blue and set the width to 2. Apply a top margin of minus 20 and set the padding to 0 to position it correctly. After that, add a text editor, align the text to the center and set a custom width of 65% while applying a top margin of minus 10 to keep the spacing balanced. Finally, insert a button, center align it, set its color to blue and give it a border radius of 10 to round out the edges. Adjust the button padding to 15 on the top and bottom and 25 on the left and right. Then in the advanced settings, apply padding of 10 on top, 0 on the sides and 25 on the bottom. Set the Z index to 2 to keep it on top of the other elements. Once the first card is complete, duplicate it two more times to create the cards for Charmander and Bulbasaur. Modify the content and colors accordingly. Set Charmander's elements to red and Bulbasaur's to green. Assign each card a unique class name to ensure they can be styled individually. Now let's add the gradient border effect. Select the main container, go to custom CSS and paste the provided code. This will create the animated gradient borders that match each Pokemon's theme. Click update and preview the result to see the glowing effect when hovering over each card. But we are not done yet. Let's make sure everything looks great on mobile. Adjust the main container padding values to create better spacing. Tweak the right margins for readability and ensure the card layout remains responsive. Now for the fun part, the hover animations. Select the first card and insert an HTML widget. Retrieve the media file for Squirtle's animation. Copy the image link and paste it into the HTML code. Delete the existing static image, then go to the advanced section. Select custom CSS and paste the animation code. This will create the bubble effect that rises when the card is hovered over. Repeat the same process for Charmander and Bulbasaur. Replace the old images, add their respective animations and apply the CSS code. Once done, all three cards will have their own unique hover animations. One thing to keep in mind, custom animations like this add visual impact but can also slow down your site if not optimized properly. That's where Airlift comes in. Airlift automatically optimizes images, scripts and animations so your site stays fast and smooth even with effects like this. If you want to keep your designs looking sharp without compromising on performance, try it out at airlift.net and let it do the rest. Alright, here's how the animations work. The div elements inside the CSS represent multiple bubbles, sparks and leaves. When you hover over a card, the image scales slightly while the animation moves elements along the y-axis. The nth child selectors define the positioning, animation delay and size each element so you can tweak them for more control. 
the five octaves in Charmander's cards create a pulsing spark effect which can be adjusted by changing the duration or positioning values. And for Bulbasaur, the falling leaves effect works the same way. Each leaf's position, timing and animation delay can be fine-tuned for a natural look. And that's it! Now you have three dynamic Pokemon-themed cards with animated gradient borders and interactive hover effects. Whether you use this for a fun theme section or adapt the concept for other projects, it's a great way to add depth and movement to your designs. Let me know how you would customize this effect. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.